Hi everyone, welcome back to Yedo. Today we will show you how to replace the battery on the MacBook Air M1 model. To start, we need the right tools to proceed to the repair which are listed in the description. First, turn off the MacBook and if connected to the power outlet, disconnect it. Next, take off the bottom case cover by using P5 Pentolob screwdriver. First, undo 6 screws securing the cover. Please note that the screws are different lengths, so keep track of their places for reassembly. Next, gently lift the bottom case cover using a pry tool. Start using the tool from the hinges area and gently work around the edges to separate the clips. This process will take time and needs patience. Next, pull out the bottom cover. Next, disconnect the battery connector. First, lift the lever and then gently disconnect the cable using a pry tool. Next, take out the not talking battery from the body. First, take out both speakers from the body. Take out the bracket by undoing three screws. Next, disconnect the right side speaker plug. Next, undo the screw securing the right side speaker. Next, use the pull tab to extract the adhesive strip holding the speaker unit. Next, gently pull out the right side speaker. You can use a pry tool if needed. Next, disconnect the left side speaker plug from the board. And then undo the screw. Next, use the pull tab to extract the adhesive strip holding the speaker unit. If the pull tab gets damaged, use a pry tool to lift the speaker unit or a plastic car pry tool to cut the adhesive under the speaker. Be gentle while using the tool. Next, pull out the left side speaker unit from the body. Next, undo two screws holding the trackpad flex connector plug.
Next, gently disconnect the cable from the board and gently pry the cable to release it from the battery. Next, undo two screws securing the battery plate. Taking out the battery will be somewhat challenging. There are six adhesive tabs in total. Please note the battery comes with a tray attached. Gently peel the adhesive tab and slowly pull while firmly holding it with your fingers. The adhesive is stretchable but can tear if pulled too fast. There are a total of 6 adhesive strips securing the battery plate. Repeat the same step for the remaining adhesive tabs. If the adhesive strips get damaged, use a pry tool to lift the battery and a plastic car pry tool to cut the adhesive under the battery plate. Next, take out the not working battery from the body. Be gentle with the trackpad flex. Next, place and secure the new battery and the plate with adhesive. Next, secure the plate by adding two screws. Next, secure the trackpad connector flex and then fasten two screws with the bracket. Next, secure the left side speaker in the body with adhesive and then fasten the screw. Next, secure the connector to the board. Next, secure the right side speaker in the body with adhesive and then fasten the screw and the plug. Next, secure the bracket by adding three screws. Next, secure the battery connector and then secure the connection lever.
next it is good to turn on the device for testing once the testing completes place and secure the bottom cover before placing the screws ensure the proper placement next secure six screws make sure to place the correct screw sizes in the original placement Hope you have enjoyed the replacement guide. Let us know if you have any questions. Please like, share and comment on our videos. Hit the subscribe button for more videos.